video is an explanation of Lesson 18 for Module 1, Ratios and Unit Rates. And I'm actually going to take two classwork examples that I did with the students. So if they need another refresher on it or if parents want to see what we're doing in class, they can watch this. At Fun Burger, the Burger Master can make hamburgers at a rate of four burgers per minute. In order to address the heavy volume of customers, he needs to continue at this rate for 30 minutes. If he continues to make hamburgers at this pace, how many hamburgers will the burger master make in 30 minutes? I'm going to show people two different ways. I'm going to show you first my preferred way. I've been working on ratios, which are really just fractions. So the burger ma master can make four burgers per minute. I always start with the initial ratio that they give me. And I set it equal to another fraction. This question is asking us, how many hamburgers will the Burger Master make in 30 minutes? So I find minutes, I put 30. 1 times 30 is 30, and whenever I do it to the bottom of a fraction or a ratio, I must do to the top. The Burger Master can make 120 burgers in 30 minutes. Okay? There is another way to do this. Okay? <clears throat> you can start with the original fraction they gave you, four burgers per one minute, and you can multiply it by 30 minutes. Okay, Since minutes are across from minutes, they cancel, and you can just multiply the top two numbers. Every number has a whole number of one underneath it. Four times 30 is 120 over 1, 1 times 1 is 1, 120 divided by 1 is 120, and you're left with the label burgers. Really, whichever way you see better, please use. I'm a fan of labeled equals ratios, labeled equal fractions. Let's try another one. Chandra is an editor at the New York Gazette. Her job is to read over each article before it's printed in the newspaper. If Chandra can read 10 words per second, how many words can she read in 60 seconds? Again, words per second, 10 words per one second. And I want to know how many words she can do in 60 seconds. This is times 60. Whatever you do to the bottom, you do to the top. Chandra can type 600 words in 60 seconds. I love being able to label my fractions because then I can go back to the labels. The other way they did this, 10 words per one second. You can multiply it by 60 seconds. Since seconds are across from each other, they can cancel. 60 times 10 is 600. 1 times 1 is 1. So it's 600 words. I hope this was a good explanation or summary of our class today.